I was poking around on the internet this morning, looking at some home decor videos, and this is, I find this really interesting. I have had a certain style of how I like to dress and how I like to decorate, and finally, it has a name. It's Coastal Grandmother or Coastal, no, Coastal Grandmother or Grand Millennial. There apparently are little differences in them, but there's a lot of similarities. And it's like, when I look at these, it's like, yes, I found the description of my look. And I've also found where I can find these things that will add to the whole ambiance and feeling that go along with it. And so I'm like, I'm quite excited about this. And so today I thought I would share some of those looks in my glue book, but also a few peeks at details around my home that sort of fit with this whole look. And starting with this top I have on, which kind of mimics a ginger jar, which is one of kind of the hallmarks of the whole Grand Millennial Coastal Grandmother look. So I love coastal. Uh, I am a grandmother and the whole look just kind of fits. Now, if you don't know what it is, think... Um, Diane Keaton or Meryl Streep in a Nancy Myers film, because every time I've seen one of those Nancy Myers films, it's like, oh, I love that house. Oh, I love her clothes. Anyway, that's what I'm, I'm kind of working towards. And I, I really want your feedback on this because I want to expand my channel a little bit. And I want to move, I think I'm moving a little bit towards lifestyle and decor and just things that I love, and I'm assuming you probably love too. I've collected a bunch of pages from magazines that I've torn out, which are magazines that have pictures of the style that I love. And I'm going to put together my big glue book uh, spread with some of these looks just to kind of keep it all in one place and to act as an inspiration. I've pulled out a whole bunch of pages here. One of the hallmarks of this look is blue and white. And those are really my favorite colors, blue, white, and pink. And so just to pull some of those out, I, I got a lot of blues, a little bit of pink for this. And I don't know how I'm going to put them together. I just thought they were lovely, so uh, I thought I would go for it. I think I like, I really like this. I had to rearrange a whole bunch of things here and I'm still kind of, you know, mix up. Anyway, I'm going to just cut the edge off this so it gets, it gets me started anyway. And just looking at it, you can see this beautiful print in here and these sheer curtains. Okay, this says, summer might be a feast for the eyes, but winter is the season to indulge your sense of smell. Well, that's an interesting thought. Uh, I'm probably going to go ahead and cover that little bit up. But I'm going to start by putting that there. And usually when I do these things, I sort of make a little bit of a plan ahead of time. Today I haven't done that because I just, I've had a bunch of stuff going on. This house here really speaks to me. And it's not in the blue and white, but I can imagine myself living there. My house doesn't look like that, but that's okay. I'm pretty happy with it. So... I am going to trim it up. Another thing I like about this picture of this house is that it's watercolor. So some architectural watercolorist has painted this one. I actually used to do home uh, house portraits for people. In fact, I did one just this spring for a family member. I don't do, I don't take them anymore. Like I don't take commissions for that anymore, mainly because I just don't feel like painting that I moved on to something different which I'll show you a little bit in a while. So the thing about this style that I was talking about in my introduction is no matter what you do your style is a reflection of you unless you're just copying someone and um, or copying a style. For example this is green is not my favorite color in fact I don't like it all that much unless it's certain tones of green like this uh, teal color I love but what I really like is fine glassware and china pieces and silver so I have those things that I've I've acquired over the years some of them were wedding presents from long ago believe me but I still love them and I found when I chose my china pattern and it was a gift from my great uncle it was a pattern that has endured in my love I guess I could say I still love it 
And even though I'm, I might choose something else today, I, I might not because I still love that. Now this, I'm not sure how I'm going to use this. It has lots of interesting things in it, but it's not quite the look. So I'm putting it aside for the moment. And let's see what else I can pull out here. This is sort of a prime example of the look, as is her outfit. Lots of lots of things in this one actually. So I think I will cut out this and this. And like I've mentioned before in previous videos, I try to get these things cut out ahead of time, but I was preoccupied today. And I'm still just kind of finishing up cleaning up my office and putting it back together and turning it into into my painting studio. So what I've got happening there is for one thing, it's not nearly the mess that it was. In fact, it's actually looking pretty civilized. But I still have, you know, a shelf unit in the hallway. And uh, I have to get rid of a piece of furniture in my, my studio space and that sort of thing. So when that is all done, I will take you on a little tour because every day it's a little bit closer and I love it more and I wonder why I didn't do it years ago. Now this one is beautiful but it got the corner got torn off torn off torn off got torn off when I was pulling it out of a magazine so it's not quite as useful. And I think I'll leave this for later. It's a little bit more rustic than I than I am looking at. This one actually epitomizes the whole feeling of this look, which is coastal with the flowing white linen dress, that sort of thing. So I might just make it a feature here. So even if these pages end up having three or four pictures on them, that's totally fine with me because it's still a book of things that I love and my um, my previous video which is all about some of my favorite things includes things like blue and white linen dresses and sketching and seaside walks and that sort of thing so that one is done this is a little more rustic than I would necessarily choose although I do like the candle and that's another one of the features this is so pretty I love the windows. I love almost everything about it. The, the chairs, the obviously pretty neighborhood. So I'm going to cut this off. Let me see what's over here. Okay, yeah, I want this side. Um, Nantucket is part is, is probably like the um, the original location of this coastal grandmother, grand millennial kind of look. And I think grand millennial comes from grandmother updated to this century. That's what I've heard anyway. I love these kind of things where you can see the names of the books because sometimes I'll go and find them and buy them or get them from the library if I can. This again I've shown, shown this one numerous times because I love this blue basket and the blue table and everything so I might use that. Not sure yet. Um, same here with this wicker is one of these things that kind of goes with the look. And then beautiful dishes, linens. So I'm going to cut some of these out and I'll probably pop some, pop some in here and there. Anyway, I'd be, be really interested to know what you think about what I might add to my channel because I've had wonderful feedback and I, I love creating videos. I, I actually have surprised myself by how fun it is and I think it's because it's creative and it's just, I don't know, it's just fun. So I would like to do more. I have no desire to quit. Aren't these pretty? And here's a, a little example of the, the look in my house. One thing I do with my decor is um, I change it out regularly. So seasonally I'll change things. And like, of obviously 
I do seasons like Christmas and that, but I also do spring and summer. And the summer ones, of course, are my favorite because I love summer. This, this is a little bit too rustic for the whole Grand Millennial look, which is a little bit more Hamptons upmarket kind of look. I love the, the watercolor and the blue and white. So I might use that one. And then I've got some in here. Let's see. I just try to go with what I'm drawn to the most. And in this case, it's this, it's this chair in that patio location. So I'm going to keep that one. And I also love all these blue and white linens. So let's see if I can get the ragged edge off here. So what I try to do with my own decor is use colors of the season. So summer I'll bring in a lot more blues and whites and sometimes sort of a sea green. I've got spring things up now which is what I've shown you here in this video but I'm about to change. It's still May as I film this but I'll be changing soon probably around the 1st of June. And I'll be putting out more of my summer things. So for summer I have more more blue glass like this which I really love and more references to the ocean just things like that and in my paintings I've I've been doing doing some different things with color what I'll do is change out the paintings and right now I have quite a bit of stock well not that much but um, I actually had 11 paintings go to a business to sell recently so um, that's quite exciting for me what I will do is I'm painting painting for the seasons as well so that Here's what I'm kind of thinking of, and you can tell me what you think. I'm going to start doing commissions again, and what I plan is to use your color or work with your direct decorator or your colors in your home and pull those into a painting so that it works with your home. So if you're interested in that, let me know in the comments below or, or go to my website at wendydewerhughes.com and send me a message. That's my artist site. And then we can just kind of start a dialogue on that. For my channel, I do mostly sort of the crafty things, but I want to pull both sides of my self and my art expression together more so that I don't, number one, I don't have to start another channel, but also so that you can have access to all the other things that I do. Probably more than 50% of what I do is paintings on canvas. Anyway. I do love this. Okay, I've got a whole collection of little little things here. So if this goes in here, these little guys can go there. I think I might put this one right here. Even though they're different blues, this has come out, it's partly photography, but it's kind of a lavender blue. But the white sweet peas, lovely. Whereas this is more of a turquoise blue. It's kind of a sky blue. And I was looking at the sky the other day thinking, okay, what color of blue is the sky actually? And it does tend to be a little bit warmer blue in most cases. Okay, I think this one might work here. And then, actually, no, I'm going to put this one here because there's, I don't need to see all three of those to know that that's what's going on there. So I'll put that one there. And then this one can go here because it picks up this lavender color. And let's see what else we've got. This one, and that gives us the lavender as well, but it needs to have the bottom trimmed off. Anyway, I'm being very open with you today because I really do want your feedback. I need to kind of look forward. And in fact, you might not agree with this, but I was... I've had a problem with my feet recently. You know, as much as I love that, it doesn't it doesn't go with the color theme. Anyway, I've had a problem with my feet. They've been sore, and I've, I've developed Morton's neuromas, which is basically a pinched nerve that gets kind of calcified around it, 
and then it hurts all the time. It hurts when you walk and the, the cure for it is to uh, not walk or stand. And who who can do that, right? My naturopath told me that 80% of women have Nor Mor Norton's, Morton's neuromas. And I think it's just because they make our shoes too blame narrow. I think we all have skinny feet, and I, for one, do not. Okay, I think that's going to work right there. And then I'll put something over top of that. I'm not sure what yet. I've got lots of stuff. So this is a good start. I'll put down this one and this one first. That way I know where things are going to go. So we're kind of on our way here. Weather has warmed up a little bit today. It's been cold and rainy for the last couple of days. But my husband, the weather geek, tells me that it's every day for the next few days is going to be warmer. Anyway, getting back to the feet thing. I was looking in a book I have about different ailments and what emotions might be behind it. Now, this is something that I... I think there's a lot too. I don't necessarily believe everything hook, line, and sinker, but I think there's a lot to the connection between emotions and physical ailments. And this is backed up by science and experience and all kinds of things. So I'm not like out in left field here too far. Anyway, I looked it up, sore feet. Fear of moving forward was basically the main thing. Fear of moving forward. So I thought, okay, is, is this true? Do I have an issue with moving forward? And after giving it some thought, I thought, well, there are some things I have a little bit of trepidation about. And I wouldn't call it fear, but I would say, you know, I'm... I'm sort of in limbo. I'm sort of in limbo about what direction to take. And, um, you know, I've been talking to a couple of good friends and, and that sort of thing. So if you can help me, you would help me, actually, if you just tell me what you think about what I've just talked about. Okay, here's, here's something interesting. These are my favorite colors. And I just happen to have them right beside me. Is that a coincidence? Okay, I'm not going to finish this page till I, till I do this one, and then I'll know where to put all these little odds and ends. So this one goes down first. That's so pretty, isn't it? And such an easy sketch to do. It looks like it's done with um, watercolor pencils. So watercolor pencils uh, work like pencil crayons, but then when you add water, you get this kind of look. They're fun and they're they're very easy. And so if you're thinking you might like watercolor and you want to try it, I would say um, try watercolor pencils because you can get sort of the both the best of both worlds because you can draw with them and then just add water and and you have a, a watercolor painting. You can also get watercolor crayons. I actually don't have those, and I would like to get some and try them. But uh, I've spent a lot on on art stuff this year, and I have to I have to wait till I've got my studio set up to see where I'm going next. But like I just ordered a new big easel, so I'm quite excited about that. So when I'm thinking about my feet and moving forward, um, I'm kind of going. Part of that moving forward thing is where do I want to go with my art, my art career, my paintings and everything, and where do I want to go with my YouTube channel? And like I said, I like to kind of bring them both together somehow, but not everybody's interested in, in watching me paint. In fact, I would say most people aren't. However, people are interested in the life of an artist, I think. So if that's something that interests you, Please tell me, because that would help me figure myself out. And maybe my feet will stop being sore. I don't know. I have bought a couple of new pairs of shoes. I have wide feet, and it's so hard to find nice shoes that are wide enough. I don't have like fat feet, because I'm not very large. But 
I have just, they're just wide. And I've often said if I amputated my little toe and the metatarsal and everything, then I would have feet that would fit all the shoes you can get here, which always seemed like a bit extreme to me, so I'm not going to be doing that. Okay, does this not put you in the mood for going to the lake or going to the beach or there's a sailboat out here? Friends of ours, one of our neighbors has a sailboat and he just brought it in from wherever he keeps it and put it in his driveway, which isn't a very big driveway. And from our kitchen window, we can see this mast, which is kind of fun. Anyway, I have a couple of pieces over here that might work in here as well. So there's this one, which brings in all the blues. And this is very French. It's not, it's not Hamptons, so I'm not going to bother with that one. This one is about friendship. This one, not, not crazy about it. Okay. So here we have coconut cream pie or key lime or something. That will fit perfectly right there. Now, okay, second thoughts on this. I love the fabrics. Even They even look like linen and silk. But this is more crafty than decor. So what else could I do here instead? If I put that there, whoops, will this fit? Mm, not so much. She'll fit over here nicely. And let's see, I need a little bit wider one here. That will just work. So I'm using this glue. You can find a link below for it. It's uh, available on Amazon and this I think is the old one I had because it's very sticky but that's okay because once you kind of get that skin off of it then it then it works okay yeah that's the old one this is my new one which moves a little bit faster okay so that goes there okay I'm gonna use the new one this time because it's a little faster these ones have different colors on the end um, that mean something different and I, I can't remember what it means. So there you go. This should hold down some of these edges. So I don't think that key lime pie is necessarily a feature of this kind of look, but the tablecloth and the, the plate, the cake plate and the fork and everything kind of are. So we're, we're gonna, I'm gonna run with that. Okay, so I've got this. I have a big edge down here that I'm going to need to to deal with. So I've got these three little ones I've pulled out. There's this. I could, I suppose I could cut some of that off and put it, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to cut off the, everything but the fabric because it's really the fabric that I like. And that can sit down here. I'd still like to put this in somewhere, but maybe here. This doesn't really add much, so I think I will put put this in here. And then this can go with the sort of fabric look. Anyway, I'll decide on that in a minute. I might use something else. I might use these ones. So do I need to trim anything off of here? I don't think so. Uh, okay, I'm just going to use this glue. I don't mean to bore you with the saga of my sore feet, but I'm I'm thinking if there is anything to it that your emotions affect your body, it's like your body t trying to tell you something that you're not really paying enough attention to. I think that's a good way to describe it. And I think perhaps once I sort of have a plan, a better plan, that I, that I have now, that I will be able to put the sore feet thing behind me. I like that up there better. And I've got three little pieces I can put down here. So she can go there. I like this in the corner because it brings this color back down. So it's not quite so moody over here. So I'll put that one there. That one there. And her in the middle. There we go. And here's another peek at something in my house. Now, the the wall color I painted myself years ago and my inspiration was Italian stucco from an, like an older building and I used a rag 
and I used about, I don't know, a quarter of a liter of paint that I had, I had kind of um, watered down. And the base underneath was an eggshell color. And so I just smeared it on and smeared it off with a rag. So I had one rag in one hand, one in the other. Anyway, we, we recently discussed whether to change the color because I thought, well, maybe it's kind of dated. Maybe we're kind of tired of it, you know, that sort of thing. And then what it comes back down to all the time is, but we like it. So I'm leaving it because apparently it's come back into style. <laughs> You know, leave something around long enough and it'll come back into style. And uh, and some of the paintings are my own. But with this Grand Millennial or, or Coastal Grandmother's look, one of the surprise features is abstract art, which is what I'm working on in my, my art life, my painting life. So the other part of this Coastal Grandmother look is the clothes. And it's kind of my style anyway. So I'm not going to have to change much. I'm probably a little less casual sometimes and I like a little bit more sparkle but you know it's fairly conservative and comfortable and classic and that's kind of my clothing style. Okay so here here we have the whole thing done and what do we see? The color palette very definitely. But what draws the eye in something like this is this and this big white spot, which doesn't really add very much. So I'm tempted to put something in there, even something small, just to break that up a little bit. And I've mentioned before that often you can't find a lot of blue things. This is a bit of a repeat of that, so I don't think I'll use that. This would work. Yeah, that one is going to be the one. I have my own artwork around my house, but I also have artwork that just kind of goes with the decor. But on my piano, that's where I often where I do my seasonal things. So I'll put small vignettes basically of whatever works, works together. So I go into my cupboard and I'll create little vignettes of things like Okay, that totally works. So that's going to be the thing because otherwise it's just like kind of a glaring white spot. I also have, oh, another feature is dark wood, but not lots of it. Dark wood and white painted furniture. So I don't have a lot of white painted furniture. I do have a bit of wicker, which I love. There. Anyway, um, I think what I might do is put some videos, some YouTube videos in the description. So to find the description, there's that little blurb with a sentence or two. Click on the, the word more or show more, whichever it turns up as. Might be a down arrow on your phone, whatever. And then you'll find the description and all the suggestions I make for products and for videos of mine. But I'll put a couple of other videos that I found that showcase the Grand Millennial and the Grand and the Coastal Grandmother style. And I would love to have your feedback on on everything I've talked about. This is it for today. I think it's beautiful. It totally expresses me and the direction I want to go with my my look and my channel and everything. So please subscribe to my channel and click the little bell so you get the notifications when I have a new video. And also like I mentioned please leave a comment and click the, the thumbs up button, which I think goes this way, um, because that tells the algorithm that this is worth watching. And uh, I hope you find it that way. And I'll see you next time.